Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Thank you so much for watching. I today thought it was about damn time to come on here and actually film an update video in regards to my weight. It's been prob like literally at least a year since I've done a video specifically focused on my weight, my weight loss, where I'm at, what's going on, like had any desire to lose weight. It's literally been about a year's time, so I figured I really needed to get on this train and start recording my updates for you guys. Not only because, you know, I like to share that with you guys, obviously. Um, if you're new to the channel, which there are quite a few of you, thank you, first of all, thank you so much for joining us here on my little family that I have here on this channel. I'm so thankful to have you. I'm excited to have you guys, um, whether it be because of the weight loss surgery portion of my channel or the newer fashion videos. I'm so thrilled to have you guys here. This channel has kind of just turned into a mishmash that is my life. So, you know, there will be more fashion videos, haul videos, try on videos, but then there's also going to be weight dedicated videos like this. Um, if you are newer here, you may not know that this channel did kind of start um, because I was going through the process of getting weight loss surgery back in 2015, and I really just wanted to document my journey through it all um, and when I did that I not only you know am I so thrilled to be able to help other people you know I, I get you know endless messages of people who are going through the same process um, and have found it helpful or you know have found some of the information to be kind of um, encouraging to them because you know you get stuck in a rut throughout this obviously and anything that you're doing in life there are ups there are downs so it's good to have I think personally I really relied on you know watching YouTube videos prior to having the surgery um and knowing what to expect and to anticipate and not that I wasn't alone was just such a huge part of my journey and I'm, I'm so thankful to the people who have made videos so that's one of the reasons that I wanted to start a channel regarding my weight loss journey and having weight loss surgery but another big reason is because it really helps me to hold myself accountable um you know I feel like if I come on here and I'm like oh I gained five pounds last week I feel like I've let not only myself down but like my little family down and I don't I don't want I don't want to do that I don't want to feel like you know I'm misbehaving or something so it's definitely been a part of my motivation and you know losing all that weight so I have you know all the new year new me bullshit that's out there that's kind of what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I finally um, decided that it's about time for me to actually focus on my weight loss again. So I, um, let's just kind of get into the stats and then we'll do all the storytelling because y'all know I don't make a short video, so bear with me. So um, my weight loss journey, I started back in July 2015 is when I kind of enrolled in the classes and started my journey. I weighed in at 335 pounds. My weight on the date of surgery was 300.8. I had surgery on October 12, 2015 in Little Mass at Little General Hospital with Dr. Rebecca Shore. See, I never like, you don't, once you say that so many times, it doesn't ever like go away. All my stats, I just know them now. It's like engraved in my brain. Um, the last time, I well, actually, my lowest weight that I ever got to throughout this journey was 195 pounds. That is the lowest weight I've seen. This collar is going to drive me crazy. Uh, that's the lowest weight that I've seen in my entire adult life. And that was done, I want to say, this summer of 2016. Um, I did have some regain from that point going through, like, the holiday season of 2016. So I got back up to, like, 215, 220, somewhere between there. Um, and then I ended up getting pregnant. I found out I was pregnant um, in January of last year, so just about a year ago. I've obviously had a child. He is now three, almost four months old. Oh, he is so perfect, so beautiful. I have three amazing children. They are all perfect, but this baby is just perfect. Perfect. Um, I keep telling I keep telling myself that one day he's gonna drive me as crazy as his brothers drive me and not to have favorites. But right now he doesn't talk back. He doesn't I mean he makes a mess, but like not as much of a mess. And he's not super fresh, so he he's kind of my favorite at the moment. So but I know that will change when he uh, is a toddler and I get payback for him being such an amazing baby. But I digress, I digress. So I had a baby in September and I don't think I've even ever like talked about how much I actually weighed and how much weight I actually put on throughout pregnancy. I really kind of threw weight loss surgery rules out the window. I kind of was like, this is my last hurrah. I'm pretty sure this is my last baby. So I was like, you know, I'm just gonna live life as a pregnant woman um, and have no regrets, right? Well, I mean, I'm kind of I'm paying for that mentality now um but that's kind of you know it is what it is so um I've never actually said the weight that I started at or when I gave birth um but I am not going to be ashamed and I, I've this is like something I've had to mull over and like tell myself and like pump myself up for over and over again because I felt very ashamed and embarrassed of the number that was on that scale um I felt like I was not worthy of coming on here and like being 
a presence on the internet like on the freaking internet are you joking me like how many crazy people are on the internet what is one more just like get over yourself but I had I, I had a really tough time seeing that number go up um not only because I was pregnant but because of my you know irresponsible decisions and choices in life and so now I am going to I'm just gonna embrace it I'm gonna you know that's where I started from we're moving on we're heading in the right direction and it's literally just a number on the scale it does not change me as a person Caitlin is still Caitlin I still have the same morals and values and heart and soul that you know and love for other people that I've had when I was 195 pounds so it's literally just a number on the scale but I know that's way easier said than done if you're going through you know a weight struggle you know where I'm coming from it's just a challenge to say it's just a number it's just the size on your pants it's not a big deal it's a big deal when you're in the mentality and the and you're in the moment but again this is something I've had to kind of work myself up towards for the past almost four months now because now is when I'm finally deciding to to take control and to I had to embrace that number I had to recognize it I had to take responsibility for it and now I'm moving on so this horrific number no the number um the amount that I weighed when I actually gave birth was 276 pounds um which was like a real kind of shot you like a, a sucker punch to my gut because it was like that's honestly not that far off from the weight that I was when I actually had surgery like 300.8 276 not that far off so that was really tough um and then like I said I, I still I wasn't right after childbirth wasn't able to really get a hold of myself I was just kind of in a shitty uh, I'm not supposed to swear I was kind of in a crappy point in my life um weight wise I just felt really discouraged like I said so I wasn't focused so I didn't weigh myself after um after that but I did as of January 1st weigh myself January 1st that was 10 days ago so I've already kind of started getting back on track just haven't had the time to film a video. So January 1st is really the day, literally new year, new me, all the blah, blah, blah. Uh, but that's the day I decided to get back on the wagon, really focus on my, you know, eating healthy again, focus on my, um, my proteins, my macros, making sure that I'm getting everything in all my water. And that was a huge issue for me. Um, so when I weighed in at two on uh, January 1st, 2018, I weighed in at 259.8 pounds. So I lost like 10 pounds since having a baby. What would he do? A 15 pounds maybe, like almost 20. I almost lost 20 pounds. Um, so I was at 200 and, what did I just say? Two, what was it, 259? 259.6 is what I weighed in on January 1st. That day is literally when I started focusing on my protein, getting all my water in. I've been doing that today is January 10th and I weighed in this morning at 249, 249.8. So I've lost, 10 pounds in a couple weeks right um and a lot of that i'm sure is water weight and bloating and blah 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 uh but it's still encouraging to see the number going down we're going like i said in the right direction i feel i even feel better even though i'm only 10 pounds away from where i was you know two weeks ago but it's it's starting to i, I can feel the difference that it makes besides you know from putting crap in my mouth and junk food and chips and sodas and, and sugar in my mouth and in my face as opposed to making sure protein is is the first thing that i'm focusing on my water is what i'm focused on um trying to stay i'm not doing like a specific diet i'm not doing like keto or anything like that i just don't i i can't handle that right now like let's talk about it let's be real i'm a hot mess so i can't handle that right now um excuse me. i have to put my foot up if you can see the mess in the background that's the way it's gonna be that's my life um so I'm not doing like a specific diet I'm really just focusing on getting my protein in trying to stay as close to 90 grams of protein a day trying not to really go over a hundred grams because I feel like that is when I start to see a um like a lull in the weight loss or I even start seeing pounds come back on is if I go over 100 110 grams of protein a day so I'm trying to keep it to about 90 um carbs like I said I'm not really doing a specific keto diet but I'm trying to keep low carb because obviously that's just what my body really responds well to so I'm I've been doing really good at keeping them under I want to say like 40 45 grams a day I don't know if that's high if that's low I, I really don't know but again that's not like my main focus um getting my water in and just being better and portion control so when you get pregnant your bus your muscles um have this hormone that's released called relaxin and it really helps to relax a lot of your muscles obviously in your body because you're preparing a for everything to get squished because there's another human inside of your gut and then b you're preparing to give birth and to have it all like come out and to be able to fit that child outside of your body um so relaxin is released throughout your body and it really does um 
relax every muscle in your body. You already said that. So, but it also affected my stomach and this, my restriction that I felt in my stomach. Um, so I was always like, oh my God, my restriction, I lost my restriction. I hope it comes back, blah, blah, blah. But I honestly and truly think that a lot of that had to do with the, um, the types of food that I was consuming. I was really eating a lot, very carb heavy diet. In the beginning, the carbs were really the only thing that I could stomach that really helped calm the nausea. And then I could just like even sounded remotely okay to eat was carbohydrates. Um, and then obviously I was just like addicted to it and I couldn't say no. So obviously when you're eating more cracker like foods, chips, like very, um, I don't know, the way that I like explain this away in my brain is when you put a cracker in a cup of water, that shit dissolves right quick. Like it's just mush and it's gone. If you put a steak in some water, it's not going anywhere. It's gonna fill you up, it's gonna sustain your stomach, it's gonna stay there longer. Chips, no. I could eat a, I could eat half a bag of chips, I could eat a whole sleeve of Ritz crackers and not even feel full. Um, so I think not only did my restriction kind of diminish, I'm not gonna say go away because I feel like it's definitely come back a bit, but it did diminish for sure, but then I also just didn't help the situation by the foods that I was choosing to eat. Um, I do feel now part of it's probably because I'm starting to shrink my stomach with the portions that I'm really, you know, monitoring and making sure that I'm on track and not really going overboard. Um, another big thing of trying to monitor and maintain is my full signals. Um, I was before eating until I was super uncomfortably full and that's just how I'd always eat in like throughout my entire life. So I was kind of just going back to what felt normal to me but now I'm trying to say listen are you hungry are you satisfied if you are then you can stop you don't need to feel uncomfortable you don't need to feel full you are done okay so that's kind of what I've been focusing on I know it's only been 10 days but I, I feel really focused I feel like like I said I took those three months to really have to I had to go through a mental battle kind of all over again um and make sure that I was in the right frame of mind to start this and to really take this on and not it to not for it to be some fad diet because that's not what it is and that's not what it was when I was going through it you know a year and a half ago before I got pregnant it was really a way of life and a change of life and that's what it is right now so I'm not focused on you know trying to do the fad you know fad whatever it's going to be this is just you know I have to realize that this is my life so I'm trying to slowly kind of focus on how to get back to where I need to be and what my diet needs to look like what my exercise regime needs to look like I haven't been I haven't gotten to the gym realistically I just don't think that's gonna happen anytime in the near near future until the baby's at least like sleeping through the nights and I can go out again at night um, but for the time being just being as active as I can I've again reinstated the bathroom stall workout so um, like every time I have to go to the bathroom because I do take the baby to work with me um, which has been fabulous still and thank Jesus um, but I have to bring him into the bathroom with me because I obviously can't just like leave him at my desk so I bring him in there with me and he's just like chilling in his little car seat and I will go to the bathroom do my thing and then I will do some wall push-ups and I'll do some squats and I'll do some leg raises to like try and firm the booty um, so I'm, I'm trying to be as active as I can I do the calf raises at the fax machine again and when I'm filling up my water bottle so just trying to get like a little bit of exercise in here and there it's not really exercise I'm sure it doesn't equate to anything but ment mentally it's like preparing me for when I actually do start to like get an actual workout regime going again um and I really do need to just start working out at home but like I feel like every time like for me I'm just like it, my character is just a lazy person that's just who I am I admit it I accept it but I you know consciously try to make efforts to not be super lazy in my life but when it comes to exercise like I'll lay down to do a sit up and then there's just I'm not getting back up I'm I'll just fall asleep on the floor so it's tough for me to actually do workouts and like have them be effective when I'm home so um, I'm just trying to get as much like activity as I can here and there um, so yeah so that's really what I'm doing like I said 10 pounds in about a week and a half I'm totally satisfied with that even though I'm sure it's water weight I know it's gonna get more challenging as I go along um, but it's not a race, you know, it took me how long to get to this weight. It's gonna take me I mean, it only took me nine months It took me nine months to pack on the pounds, right? So it's gonna take me time to get it off and it's a matter of I think for me more of a mental battle and uh, It may not be that way for you. But for me, that's just how it is right now. I feel ready uh, I feel really ready and I feel really prepared and I feel really motivated so even like not overeating isn't too much of a challenge at this moment uh, but I will say like I went to, um, the other day we were having a, a blizzard in our area. We had like this, I don't know what they called it, 
winter cyclone some crazy thing i live in massachusetts and so we had a blizzard uh come through and they canceled work for me the night before and i was out at the store i was like um picking up this little karaoke microphone that i have that i'm super excited about and then right next to it at staples where i was was walmart and so we got the text so school works canceled schools obviously canceled so i was like oh my god that's so exciting so i went to walmart and i was just kind of go gonna go browse and i sat in my car and i was like if i go into this walmart right now i'm gonna buy potato chips i'm gonna buy soda i'm gonna probably buy candy and i know this is gonna happen because i'm excited tomorrow to be able to stay home stay in bed with my babies and just stuff my face so i literally sat in my car for like 10 minutes and then i had to say girl you are not to be trusted and i turned right back around and left i just drove away so the battle is still gonna be there but i i feel like i'm slowly gaining the willpower and the mental and getting in that mentality to say say no to food <laughs> you know um so it's never it's it's a never-ending battle and that's another thing that i really had to accept um kind of going through the last few months this is a never-ending battle and like i said before i was really discouraged i felt really embarrassed um about where i had kind of let myself go to um but then i had you know i've just had to remind myself like my life is ever changing you know i'm not in the same place i was this today as i was yesterday or last month or a year ago so unfortunately as this being a lifelong battle as this being just part of my life for the rest of my life the weight loss journey is never gonna you know stay stagnant you're not gonna get to goal i'm not gonna get to whatever goal is i'm not really sure maybe 170 between like 170 180 i can't go i feel like i can't go much lower than that because i have a really big head and i feel like it would just look really not cute so i think about 170 180 so I, when i get to that weight when i get there not if when i get there girl um i can't just stop and say congratulations girl you did it your hard work was you know you put in the work now you're good to go have a live long and prosper at 180 no i'm gonna have to fight to stay there i'm gonna have to fight to be, stay in maintenance not to you know regain every holiday season whatever it's gonna be so it's never my life is forever changing this journey is forever changing it's never going to be something that i can just sit back and relax on and you know say i'm finished so that's another thing you know what delivering at 276 that's not where you're that's not your end point girl that's not you know you're not going to let yourself stay there so i i had to say you know don't get too caught up in that number my lifestyle changes are headed in the right direction my mental standpoint you know from the last three months is headed in the right direction so that's what i need to be focusing on i need to focus on you know the evolution of the situation the evolution of life you know it is what it is um so yeah so i'm really excited i like i said i feel motivated i'm pumped i'm ready to do it so i do i do think i'm gonna do not not weekly videos like i was doing after surgery but I do think I'm going to be doing some more frequent updates on my weight, on the journey, because again, I it really helps to hold myself accountable. It really helped me initially. And I think doing this again is really going to help me, um, you know, hopefully throughout this this portion of my journey. So um, if you're going through this, let me know down below. I know a lot of people in my like generation or my class of weight loss surgery you know we're dealing with regain so you're not alone if you are dealing with it if you're not congratulations that's amazing but if you ever do go through it it's it's just a normal process never whether you're getting whether you're going through pregnancy whether you're just in normal life regaining you gotta just accept it don't let it easier said than done again don't let it affect your I keep saying mentality but don't let it affect your mind i kept feeling like i was less than you know i kept feeling like i wasn't worthy of whatever it may be of love of you know whatever that's not the case you know it's just again a number on the scale but i think coming from a whole lifetime of being overweight because i've never been a thinner person i think that's uh just a battle that i'm always gonna have to face i don't know that i'll ever be super satisfied um in any step of this of the way um but it's going to be something that i'm forever working on so don't feel alone don't feel discouraged you are not less less than you are not less than you know who you are now isn't less than you know a hundred pound person or somebody who's a hundred pounds high let me uh, someone who is a hundred pounds lighter uh than you you are perfect so 
I know it's easier said than done, but try not to get super caught up in it and, and just head in the right direction. That's all that you can do. Put your head in the game, make small steps, small choices, small decisions, and you know, we'll get there when we get there. So if you're working on something, if you're struggling, let me know. I'm happy to like have somebody to like motivate myself off of and to work with. Um, I know, like I said, there are quite a few people that I've spoken with that are having the same challenges. And I think it's really great to be able to say like, how'd you do today? How's it going? Did you make good decisions? What are you putting in your face? Or like I had to shout out to my girls when I was sitting in the Walmart parking lot and like, oh my God, I think I'm going to eat all this shit. So I really need to drive away. And it took everything in my being to do that and not to go in and buy a, ba a bag of Lay's potato chips. It's important to have kind of a support system, whether it be some, you know, people that you know, friends, family, close knit people, or people from afar, from the interwebs. Um, I think that's such a unique part of the weight loss surgery community is that there's just somebody out there for everybody and everybody's really rooting each other on and I absolutely love that and I adore it so don't feel alone don't feel like you're going through whatever you're going through by yourself reach out feel free leave a comment down below maybe others who are commenting can reach out you know between each other whatever it is reach out to me directly email Instagram YouTube whatever you want to do um, but just don't feel like you're going through it alone because I have been there and like I said the last three or four months have been really difficult um, even through the end point of my my pregnancy I was just really um, I felt alone and I felt embarrassed and that's just it's not setting you're not setting yourself up for success um, when you're trying to fight a battle all by your lonesome right so thank you so much for watching I really appreciate you guys let me know like I said down below if you're going through anything if you're starting back up if you're just kind of kicking 2018 in the ass if this is your year again let everybody know I think this is so important to root each other on and I want to be your cheerleader y'all can cheerlead for me if you like whoop, whoop. um but thank you guys so much for watching again thank you for subscribing if you're new and you've lasted this long thank you so much for all my OGs all my OGs out there thank you guys for hanging out there with me I know it's kind of been a recent departure from the weight loss journey and so I really appreciate all sticking in there with me and rooting me on from afar throughout everything because I know you have been so I love and appreciate every single one of you thank you for watching and I will see you later bye